Nepal is a beautiful country nestled in the Himalayas, famous for its stunning landscapes, rich culture, and welcoming people. In this video, we'll give you a detailed plan for your five-day trip to Nepal, covering some of the most popular tourist destinations in the country. Namaste and welcome to this five-day itinerary for the country. Nepal is a land of ancient temples, soaring mountains, picturesque valleys, and colorful cultures. Whether you're an adventure seeker, a culture enthusiast, or simply looking to relax amidst natural beauty, Nepal has something to offer for everyone. Our itinerary will cover the major cities of Kathmandu and Pokhara, as well as the Chitwan National Park, Nagarkot, and Bhaktapur. Each destination offers a unique experience and a glimpse into the rich heritage and culture of Nepal. So, if you're planning a trip to Nepal and wondering how to make the most of your five days, then this video is for you. We'll guide you through each day of your trip, suggesting the best places to visit, the most exciting things to do, and the best food to try. So, pack your bags and get ready for an adventure of a lifetime in Nepal. Your first day in Nepal will start in Kathmandu, the capital city of Nepal. Kathmandu is the capital city of Nepal and is known for its rich culture, ancient temples, and vibrant streets. The city is full of temples, shrines, and holy sites, where you can witness the devotion of the locals and experience the rich cultural heritage of Nepal. The trip starts with a visit to the famous Swayambhunath Stupa, also known as the Monkey Temple. This iconic temple is situated on a hill and offers breathtaking views of the city. The stupa is surrounded by several other smaller temples and shrines, which are worth exploring. Next, head to the Pashupatinath Temple, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and one of the most sacred temples for Hindus. The temple is situated on the banks of the Bagmata River and is known for its intricate architecture and stunning sculptures. You can witness the Hindu rituals and prayers being performed at the temple and learn about the religious beliefs and practices of the locals. After that, visit the Budnath Stupa, one of the largest stupas in the world and a popular pilgrimage site for Buddhists. The stupa is surrounded by several monasteries, where you can learn about Buddhist teachings and practices. You can also visit the nearby shops and cafes, which offer a range of souvenirs, handicrafts, and local delicacies. You can end your day by exploring the vibrant streets of Tamil, a popular tourist hub known for its shops, restaurants, and bars. You can indulge in some shopping, try the local street food, or simply soak in the atmosphere of the bustling city. On day two, head to Pokhara, a picturesque city situated in the western part of Nepal. Pokhara is famous for its stunning lakes, snow-capped mountains, and adventure sports. Your day in Pokhara will start by visiting the famous Fua Lake, the second largest lake in Nepal, and the focal point of the city. You can take a boat ride or a paddleboard and enjoy the serene beauty of the lake surrounded by lush green hills and the stunning Annapurna mountain range. Next, head to the Peace Pagoda, a Buddhist stupa situated on top of a hill, offering stunning views of the city of Pokhara and the Himalayas. The Peace Pagoda is an ideal place to relax, meditate. It is a Buddhist stupa that offers stunning views of the Himalayas and the city of Pokhara. After visiting the Peace Pagoda, head to the International Mountain Museum, a must-visit destination for adventure enthusiasts. The museum offers a fascinating insight into the history and culture of mountaineering and showcases the equipment and tools used by famous mountaineers. You can end your day by exploring the vibrant lakeside area, which is known for its cafes, restaurants, and souvenir shops. The lakeside area is a great place to unwind, try some local cuisine, and do some shopping. On day three, head to Chitwan National Park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and one of the most popular tourist destinations in Nepal. It is home to several endangered species, including the Bengal tiger, and the one-horned rhinoceros. Your day in Chitwan National Park will begin early in the morning with a jungle walk. Accompanied by a knowledgeable guide, you'll walk through the lush green forest of the park, keeping an eye out for various wildlife such as deer, monkeys, and various bird species. You might even spot the elusive Bengal tiger, 
or the one-horned rhinoceros if you're lucky. After the jungle walk, you'll return to your lodge for breakfast. You can enjoy a hearty breakfast while taking in the stunning views of the park. In the afternoon, it's time for a canoe ride. You'll hop into a traditional dugout canoe and navigate the Rapti River, which flows through the park. During the canoe ride, you'll see several species of birds, crocodiles, and maybe even some rhinos bathing in the river. After the canoe ride, it's time for a traditional Faru cultural dance performance. The Faru people are the indigenous people of the Chitwan region, and their culture is unique and fascinating. The dance performance is a great way to learn about their culture and lifestyle. Your day in Chitwan National Park will end with a Jeep Safari. You'll ride through the park in a 4x4 Jeep, covering more ground and increasing your chances of spotting the park's wildlife. Keep your eyes peeled for the elusive Bengal tiger, which is a rare sight, but not impossible to spot. After the Jeep Safari, you can relax at your lodge and enjoy a delicious dinner. You can also visit a local Tharu village to learn about the culture and lifestyle of the indigenous Tharu people. End your day by watching a traditional Tharu cultural dance performance. On day four, head to Nagarkat, a hill station situated on the outskirts of Kathmandu. Nagarkat is a hill station situated on the outskirts of Kathmandu and is famous for its stunning views of the Himalayas. Nagarkat is a popular destination among locals and tourists alike, and it's easy to see why. The town is situated at an altitude of 2,175 meters and offers breathtaking views of the Himalayan mountain range, including Mount Everest. It's an ideal destination for those who want to escape the hustle and bustle of Kathmandu and enjoy the serenity and natural beauty of the Himalayas. Your day in Nagarkat will start early in the morning. Wake up before dawn and head to the Nagarkat viewing tower to catch the sunrise over the Himalayas. The sunrise from Nagarkat is one of the most breathtaking sights you'll ever see, with the sun illuminating the snow-capped peaks of the Himalayas in a range of vibrant colors. After enjoying the sunrise, go for a leisurely walk or hike around the surrounding hills to explore the scenic beauty of the area. You can also rent a bike or hire a guide to take you on a cycling tour around Nagarkat. After your morning adventure, head back to the town for a hearty breakfast at one of the local restaurants. Nagarkat offers a range of options, from traditional Nepali cuisine to international dishes, so you're sure to find something to your liking. In the afternoon, head to the Changu Narayan Temple, a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the oldest Hindu temples in Nepal. The temple is situated on a hill and offers stunning views of the surrounding valley. The temple complex is home to several shrines and statues, including the oldest stone inscription found in Nepal. After visiting the temple, you can take a leisurely stroll through the nearby village to explore the local culture and lifestyle. You can also visit the nearby Nagarkat community forest, which is home to several species of birds and animals. In the evening, head back to the Nagarkat viewing tower to catch the sunset over the Himalayas. The sunset from Nagarkat is equally stunning as the sunrise, with the changing colors of the sky reflecting off the snow-capped peaks of the mountains. You can also enjoy a traditional Nepali dinner at one of the local restaurants in Nagarkat. Nepali cuisine is known for its rich flavors and spices, and you can try dishes like dal bat, momos, and chow mein. On day 5, head to Bhaktapur. Bhaktapur is a beautiful ancient city located in the Kathmandu Valley of Nepal, known for its traditional Nuari architecture, rich culture, and beautiful temples. Bhaktapur is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is also known as the City of Devotees due to its many temples and religious shrines. The city is full of historical and cultural significance and has a lot to offer to visitors. We recommend starting your day early to make the most of your time in Bhaktapur. Begin your day by visiting the Bhaktapur Durbar Square, which is located in the heart of the city. The Durbar Square is home to several temples, palaces, and courtyards, and is a perfect place to learn about the rich history and culture of Bhaktapur. One of the main attractions of the Durbar Square is the 55 Window Palace, 
which is a beautiful structure made entirely of brick and wood. You can also visit the Golden Gate, a magnificent gate that leads to the Talaju Temple, one of the oldest and most important temples in Bhaktapur. After exploring the Durbar Square, head to the Naya Tapala Temple, which is a five-story temple that is one of the tallest and most beautiful temples in Nepal. The temple is dedicated to the goddess Siddha Lakshmi and is known for its intricate wood carvings and stone sculptures. Next, visit the Datatreya Square, which is located a short distance from the Naya Tapala Temple. The square is home to the Datatreya Temple, which is dedicated to the three-headed deity Datatreya, a combination of the Hindu gods Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva. The temple is famous for its beautiful wood carvings and is a popular pilgrimage site for Hindus. As the day winds down, head to the Pottery Square, which is located a short distance from the Datatreya Square. The Pottery Square is home to several pottery workshops, where you can see local artisans at work and even try your hand at pottery making. End your day by trying some of the local delicacies in one of the many restaurants in Bhaktapur. New Era Cuisine is famous for its unique taste and flavors, and some of the must-try dishes include Juju Dao, a sweet yogurt, Bara, a lentil pancake, and Kwati, a mixed bean soup. And that concludes our five-day itinerary for Nepal. We hope you enjoyed this virtual tour of some of the most beautiful and culturally rich destinations in Nepal. Whether you are a nature lover, adventure seeker, or culture enthusiast, Nepal has something to offer for everyone. We hope this itinerary has inspired you to visit Nepal and explore its stunning natural beauty, rich cultural heritage, and warm hospitality. Remember to take your time, soak in the local culture, and embrace the spirit of adventure as you embark on your journey to Nepal. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more travel content. Thanks for watching. Safe travels.